Okay, so tell me about the island that you're gonna visit. What, tell me about this island. What's the name of it? Kariku. Autism is really a spectrum eh, that affects students or ch persons' ability to communicate and socialize. Okay, it is not yet known what is really the cause of autism. But as I said, it's on a spectrum, so you have some students that are very severe and you have some students that are very mild. The students have a lot of sensory issues in terms of that they cannot regulate their senses properly. So sometimes they would speak too loud and they don't know. Sometimes they would laugh when they need to be sad. They cannot regulate their emotions and they're not very sociable. So they don't socialize much, they don't make eye contact, they don't speak. Well, some students don't speak at all, but some even if they can't speak, they hardly communicate or socialize. Excuse me. So my name is Adensia Forsyth. And I'm Chad Forsyth. <laughs> we are the parents of Chidden Forsyth. So for me, um, I think children was almost two, a year and some months when I or we recognized he wasn't speaking much. So from then I I had this instinct coming out that something wasn't too right. And in the back of my head, I don't know why autism was the first thing that popped in, even without any um, clinical analysis or anything whatsoever. Good job, Shayden. Good job. My wife who was originally from St. Martin. So on a trip they went there to one of the doctors and then um, it was done here with a group of doctors from SU and both confirmed he's on the autistic spectrum. So when it came and they told me it, I wasn't surprised because um, I could have figured out it was something like that. Um, why we reacted or responded to help in his development? Well, um, I guess it's because of I'm a, I have a Christian background, and somehow coincidentally his middle name is Mika, which comes from Micah, which means no one is like God. So I always believe he has a positive outcome. You have to put a little bit more time and effort and read to find information and um, work with whoever wants to help. But when we found out, well, like my husband, we weren't too surprised or disappointed or anything like that. Um, from a baby, there were some things that were kind of puzzling. Um, being a mother, first time mom, I had to kind of read his eyes. So when his eyes, his pupil would get darker, then I know something is wrong. When they light up, then I would know. Even up to today, we still have that. Uh, I taught more on the he had a problem with attention span and so on. And later on we found out that he also had ADHD as well. Um, what happened when we found out? Well, being a stay at home mom, first thing I started doing was reading up everything I could on, on attention disorders and so on. And um, we would do things, try to do it more playfully and interactively and so on. And um, in the end, it kind of helped him that we started those things before. What school do you go to? What's the name of your school? Border Government School. Okay. Who is your favorite teacher? Miss Spadis. Well, because of his conditions and so on, we thought he would have been in the special ed. Um, I guess everyone would think that too because he would need special care, special learning and so on. And um, when we went abroad, back at my home, we, we had some interviews with him, doctors and so on. And they were giving us the options that they would do for children with autism. If they are on the, they would see the higher functioning side they try as much as possible, possible to give them a uh, normal schooling with the neurotypical children and so on so that they would learn faster because they have, the, they have an ability to imitate everything that they do or see and so on. 
and um, so when we got back here we were like oh boy how are we gonna do this this is the first time we're hearing that in Grenada or maybe even in the Caribbean we weren't sure what would happen so the Ministry of Education had to step in special education should be released restrictive if the child really 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 cannot function in the mainstream then that child should be into a special education setting but I believe that every child has a right to be educated in their community schools just as their peers so um, my wish is that we can staff our schools and provide the environment where we can educate all of our children in the same setting and not just putting them in the setting with their peers but ensuring that the right accommodations modification is made to ensure that they get a quality education after four plus ex um they had observation with him they would query him and so forth Shaden is extremely intelligent Shaden, based on assessment may be performing at least three grade levels ahead of his grade level right now he has a very very good reading ability he speaks well, he understands very well. They, they came to the conclusion that he is above the level of where he should be actually and um, they wanted to see if they can in, put him in the mainstream because he was already reading at the age of three. He, he had, um, his phonics were good, better than mine I would say sometimes. And um, so a lot of those things where what he needed for KG, he already knew them or he was getting to that level. So they decided to try him in the mainstream. If, if he has somebody, I think, to work with him, he would remain on task. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, you know, he goes to school and there are days then he would come back and he hasn't um, done anything. Um, he's, he would give answer he knows the answer because i mean i try to follow with other parents or call the teachers to find out exactly mm -hmm. what is done on a daily basis and he's on par with the content and he doesn't one of the his weaknesses or his challenge yeah. he's still developing his fine motor skills so he was hold the pencil kind of odd mm -hmm. because of that he doesn't like to write much that doesn't mean he doesn't know the answer if you ask him to spell the word he would spell it for you because okay. they grade him everything just like the normal children um, so that is a challenge and then sometimes you know you would have a little tantrum sometimes when you don't get what you want or whatever they can be distracted by noise they can be distracted by distracted by colors even the temperature of the day can be a trigger for them um our system our teachers are not fully trained in terms of a knowledgeable as to how to cope with the students within a mainstream setting and that's why most of them end up in a special education needs setting in the special education schools the numbers are smaller and the teachers even if they are not formally trained but they get hands-on on the job professional development sessions that assist them to be able to assist the child within the setting that we have here we have the teacher education program program at TAM CC. The teachers there are um, there. There's an elective in exceptionality, so they are they get at least one semester of training in terms of how to implement programs when they get back to the general ed classrooms. You know, from the ministry's end, I know Miss Johnson and Saint John was um, trying to work towards those kinds of things to see if we can get assistance for the, the classroom teacher so that we can have somebody to work with him. So we are moving in terms of preparing our um, teachers to meet the needs of the students within the classroom setting. Um, we have other programs being put on by volunteer organizations such as the um, Kingdom Workers attached to the Grace Lutheran School and Church they provide support services for parents as well as teachers to help cope with children with autism. I'm a teacher by profession and when I come home from there it's like I feel I'm going in the next classroom. When I go home, I spend a lot of time trying to get him to learn the work, but he's okay. What's your favorite food? Um, successes. Um, he has been there with the children. 
if we look at his average for the two terms so far in his grade two he, he averaged 85 percent um and the reason for that drop in the 15 percent has to do mainly with penmanship he he has some very um good traits i think in him he likes to research stuff for himself what is your favorite animal a penguin why because it has flippers what do penguins do he's a swim where do they live in antarctica he went but he can go on youtube and type what he wants now for himself so he went on youtube and found additional things about the penguin he actually made me learn that there are 17 species, species. of penguins and because i thought penguins used to live in cold places <laughs> i thought they were in the in the uh, you know not the, the pool. north pool and all of those things which is not true so i learned all of that through my son <laughs> um so even when he had little projects he would go and research it when he has to find something on an island well, as you would have seen he loves at the atlas and he knows all the caribbean countries by the flags and all of those things and he did that on his own so uh, you know he has his positive things he likes factual things um, so I think these are some good things that would help him and somehow I think he has some things that we didn't really teach him with that I don't know if it's intuition <laughs> he just get it all on his own some grammatical things like the difference between is and are like when to use has or have before that was taught in the school mm -hmm. he was doing that at home all by himself I'm really shocked at the level at which he reads you know um in fact when he started to pronounce certain words i was like well, i was always you know um so that was one of the first thing that tell me you know he's gifted in certain areas the screen doesn't work he would listen he would observe and it seems like he has a very photographic memory so he would picture things and register it and then later on you see you see it plain and so on and um, what amazes me is that sometimes we would give him a French book and he would just start to read the pronunciation may not be 100% but he gets it one of the other things I like about him is that he's very affectionate he he loves children he loves babies he loves hugs. I remember um, in 3 Plus, his first teacher, she, I think there was a day he didn't come to school or something, and she said, the children were asking about cheating, and that's when I learned that his way of greeting his friends or his peers is by hugs. And sometimes we would go early, we go to St. George's, and he see a, a little child, and he's running, and he's, and he's going and hug the child. So sometimes you have to be like apologizing, like, sorry, ma'am, or he loves to hug, and they'll be like, okay, it's okay, it's okay. But there are some things that he doesn't like to touch and so on, but hugs, he loves hugs. And Jaden, can you tell us what you want to be when you grow up? A builder. He built houses. Right. He um, likes to play with things in his hands, so. Yeah. Um, if he happened to see a, a cartoon or something, some movie or something that they were making planes or something like that, he would go and try to mm -hmm. build it. Yeah. You know, yeah, this I don't know where they watch something and they take paper drawings and they're making a map how to build a plane. So that's one of the things he and his sister have a project to build a plane on another house. Yeah, and a uh, house. <laughs> he, he goes underneath our house regularly. That's his favorite spot. Mm -hmm. Picks up sticks and other twigs and stuff to create stuff so I think he really likes to make things with his hands it's very he creative make, he makes cement with water and mud <laughs> and, yeah, and plasters whatever sticks and so on and say he's building a house he likes to create things oh, he yes yeah, he would. yeah he have those little um, what do you call some it some pipe cleaners pipe cleaners things you would fool them and yes. farm animals and you'd be amazed at trucks excavators and stuff and it looked yes. like the real deal he does that with his and hand. he takes them and he would recreate a story yeah. he, he had one the other day it was a duck versus a, a goose and he was just playing out the story um he also liked um the first time we realized he liked to do that was with clothespins yeah 
We have to buy a lot of extra cool spins yes. in the holes because <laughs> he uses cool spins sometimes to, to fidget with and um, he would pick them and make um, a lot of things. Dinosaurs. Dino well, that was his first stick. Well, he can sing. For a boy his age, he actually sings in parts. Um, yeah. He tried to sing alto and tenor. So, you know, he does um, all of them. And sometimes we let him sing in the house, he would do his little solo pieces during, during the, the the Real COVID <laughs> time when people were home when there was no school and stuff. Yeah. I used to do my little devotion thing online, and uh, one day he was willing to sing a whole song and and um, post it up. So we yeah. put it up on our Facebook and all of that, and most people were really touched by. It. I think they enjoyed one another. Yeah. To me, they don't see him in any way different from them. They always want to play with him. They all do stuff mm -hmm. like a normal family would do. So I don't really see a difference in how they interact at home with the children. Um, but I see, because he is the, the boy and the first, he's like the ringleader. So there are certain things he would do and they follow. in his artistic stuff. And they, <laughs> they might follow. see, they don't have a reason and they might follow him. And sometimes yeah. I laugh and I have to remind them, Shitten has a little issue that, you know, sometimes you do that. You don't have to do it, you know, like a so lot like of we have three pass and then autistic the, kids at home. You like, ah, oh, and bow your head because and then the little one would see and she would go, ah, oh, and like, what did you buy your ears for? And then I said, you buy ears, can't take on the noise, no noise. That has nothing to do with you, right? That's yeah. the only, that's the kicks you've had about it. But by the way, the middle child, Chayden, she thinks Chayden is like the scholar. He knows everything. Yes. If Chayden knows everything so she, she would ask Chayden. me and tell me i don't know but she don't know yeah you know? as a mom um i guess everyone wants to see their child succeed um because autism has to do with um communication and social skills and so on my aim is so that he would be able to take care of himself we try to get him to do things on his own Every now and then, his dad would give him some job and he'd say, Chayden, this is your job, and so on. So we try as much as possible to teach him the basics. Um, put on your shoes if you have to go out, brush your hair. Well, that, is a, that in itself is a challenge because he's um, it's very sensitive issue for him brushing and combing his hair. Um, so button up his clothes, even that is a challenge. Um, yeah, his fine motor skills. Um, so the basic things for now is one of the goals um, we hope to achieve. Even something as making a simple sandwich is hard for him. Um, what I would have liked to see as well is that we learn more about, as we learn his interests, to channel that and help him develop skills. Because um, I get the feeling that it is very hard for autistic persons to get jobs based on how severe their autism is um, and then he has ADHD added with it so impulsive and unpredictable you know they can things don't go their way they have a meltdown so the whole combination is hard so if we can get him to develop some skills that you know in the future he can maybe create his own job or do something, someone willing to hire him, I think that would be good. And of course, him being a good person, you know, so a good achievement. Even with his fine motor skills and his writing, he's improving mm -hmm. in terms of how he holds the pencil. And he actually writes more now than um, I've seen him write a whole paragraph and a half in one sitting, mm -hmm. which was a real challenge, you know, over the year. And um, even his teacher commented to me that um, his handwriting has really improved. In terms of his behavior as well, when he just started, he used to run out of class very often. Slam the door. You doors. know, slam the door, just run yeah. out like that, you know, don't ask to go to the washroom and so on. Mm -hmm. Shedden's is serious behavior, which goes with his diagnosis of autism and ADHD. So his parents would have asked me to assist them in working on a behavior modification program, a positive behavior program for him. So when he comes in, we start with an expectation chat, what we expect to come out of the session. And he knows he needs to keep his voice down, he needs to sit, he needs to write uninterrupted, he needs to work all by himself. If he needs a break, 
um, he can raise his hand and I would give him a break. He would choose what he wants to do as an activity. He likes the outdoors, so we try to do a lot of that. But before we get out there, we try to put a boundary to it so you know that he's not going and just run all about. We try to put a timeline to it how long we will stay outside and come back and get on task again. And that have been working. So once I get him to settle down for at least seven minutes. The next session, I will try to increase the time to at least 10 minutes uninterrupted. And I also do a similar thing with him at home. I would give his parents a chat where they would record the behaviors, record what happens before and after the behavior, and what consequences are there for the behavior to try to see how we can get him to adhere to rules and regulations in the house as well as in the school and be able to settle down and that his um, diagnosis does not affect his academics. And the tantrums of running out of class on the school has significantly reduced. So I think in those kind of um, areas, he has really, really improved. As he was speaking, I was thinking about um, him walking home from school it wasn't easy at all because the noise and vehicles passing and teaching him to walk on the side and um, he, he wants his independence and it has been improving. I think that was one of the success or one of his milestones that are significant as well. A new book. <laughs> A new book. Prefer be um, something on on nature, animals, yeah, animals and those and kind of so things. On. He enjoys books. He like to watch more factual things. He's not yeah. into like movies, like typ typical children sure, and the like ordinary cartoons. cartoons. And so we so prefer to watch something on Animal Planet or you know those kind of documentaries, documentaries National Geographic. So. Mm -hmm. No, I I see him liking things to probably drive those kind of um high vehicles like excavators those kind of yeah. big trucks and stuff because he, he likes really those. likes those things or probably maybe even he, he likes airplane I, once i saw him watching a video as to the parts to move i don't know those yeah. knobs and once when you, you went to st martin with him oh the, yeah the, the, the pilot and the air hostess gave him the opportunity yeah, to go inside and, and you know and yeah. i guess that was like a big highlight for him because he got to see parts that he knew and could name a few of them so anything to do with some vehicle, mm -hmm. you know, those kind of things could be a career that he Probably can get building something. He seems to be interested in computers. Um, I think that if we are able to provide different things for him, we would see a lot more of what he's interested in. And I read something the other day and it said autism is not a disability, it's a different ability. So he does things differently. I've improved, I think, because of him. So he makes me want to be a better person. So I think that's what I love about Jaden. What I love about Jaden? Uh, for me, the idea that he, every morning he gets up, he would come straight to me and say good morning, and there is a hope with it. Yeah. Um, so I think he, he has this emotional side about him that he doesn't always want to show, but I see it, and I appreciate it a whole lot. I, I could see he would be a very loving child throughout his, his lifetime and for me that's one of the things I, I really appreciate. What I like or love most about Chaden is that he has taught me a good bit of life lessons. Um, you know, if I could put it this way, if he was a typical child, you just say, okay, time to do this, let's do this, come and get dressed, whatever, whatever, this and this. Um, and it's done. But to Chaden now, because he doesn't always initiate conversation and so on, I've learned to develop a lot of patience. I've learned to develop creative ways of getting things done with him. And um, he, I think he, he has taught me to be a better parent. Um, I never envisioned that growing up as a young man, you know, having a child with certain difference from what we normally see around mm -hmm. um, but now that I have it I, I wouldn't necessarily trade it for anything mm -hmm. um, so it helped it helped me a lot to pull out the best in my characteristics in terms of and as a Christian I believe um, I think ultimately 
all things work together for good and there are some tricks in me as a person God wants to develop and I think Jaden is bringing it out well, as a, um, for me I think um, what I really want people to know about Jaden is that he is a, a normal human being um, who has a lot of skills like everybody else and has various challenges like everybody else and therefore on that note I just want them to help him to to be himself, to help to create avenues that he can be more expressive yeah. um, around himself. Um, once he's treated fairly, that's that's all I want. Um, just him to have the experience to live and enjoy his life just like everybody else. Mm -hmm. I think parents should value life and mm -hmm. recognize that their child is a gift from God. Mm -hmm. And because of that, I don't really see why you sh should debar your child from all the privileges that a child should go. So, mm -hmm. I know some parents, you know, because of how their child behave, so they don't want to bring them out in the public. Yeah. But when children was smaller and he had a, a lot more, you know, behavior that we might not think is positive, yeah. we would still bring him out. Mm -hmm. And um, I wouldn't debar him from anything that he could. If I could get him to join all sports club teams, go to anywhere visit a lot do everything i'm not gonna hold him as a home mm. child so i think parents should really try to expose their children it's only doing that you can see their skills develop mm -hmm. and get to figure out how they can fit into society to contribute mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. whoever is with the child should try to get supportive groups uncle aunts cousin because mm -hmm. that would help a lot mm -hmm. and don't be afraid to speak up to ask for help because there was this support group at su is it esop yeah. or something yeah. like that they used to meet um once a month once a month and i think yeah. it was it was such a beneficial program to us because it showed us we were not in this alone alone yeah. and um i'm a very appreciative for edu for having that so just try to see what their triggers are so you try not to um to try to stay away from those things that you know would trigger a tantrum or have them display behaviors that are undesirable and just try to love them and care for them as you would do anybody else. There's one thing I think is very important is um, having patience. The key with Shaden or any child is to just give him the resources, give him the tools, teach him, treat him as normal. Um, if he likes something, use it, channel it. Um, so if he likes clothespins and you need to teach him how to count, use the clothespins. You, you just do what you have to do and then you will see things happening. Don't be too hasty with autistic kid to correct them. Um, well, of course, if it's a negative behavior, you would have to speak to him. The, the community, don't be afraid to tell your, your, your neighbors that your child has a disability or your child learns differently. It's going to be important. I think there could be probably associations or support groups Get toward autism. Um, it is kind of like the the issue in a lot of Caribbean islands. So I don't know if parents are willing, and um, the ministry or any doctors and so on, um, to to pull together and see how we can form an association to help other parents as well. So in Grenada, it would be good to see something being done for children like Chaden and probably could reach a point where there is laws in terms of the workplaces and so on. I know a lot of developed countries have, you know, where companies get certain tax off if they hire persons with, with disabilities whatever, so you know, yes. Down syndrome or autism or whatever the case or is. Or even create a job for them. Right. So I'm 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 thinking it would be nice if we, we talk we want people to be inclusive but the actions are not there you know yeah. or have them on the job training or helping the you know to develop certain skills. skills look for the strength in the in various children of those age i think that would be very helpful yeah. we have been um observing world autism day for a few years now we've been doing a lot of advocacy um information is wide out there on social media and others so persons are a bit more accepting to persons with autism or persons with special needs in general okay the schools have been doing their part in terms of raising awareness of children with special education needs and children with autism so i think the first thing that we need to do is to try to accept everybody try to see the individual first and not the disability
more education should be in the media i'm happy for what we're doing i i, I would like if i get to do that anytime i don't mind doing it once it helps to make people aware mm-hmm. it's your child i mean if you don't fight for your child or try to make it what we expect to so at the end of the day i just see i have to work with him and he is going to be a success story